My name is Alexander Jimenez, and I have wrestled with Franklin High School as well as the number one team in Division II at St. Cloud State. And this is my story. I'll kind of take you guys through uh, my high school career. So freshman year, um, I didn't do as hot as I wanted to. Coming in from youth, uh, doing as outstanding as I did. And, um, I wanted to improve myself in every way I could, do whatever I, it would take to get better, and just go the extra mile, really. And Bush offered that as that extra workout, that extra push, that extra mental bearing to gain an edge on my opponents. So my freshman year, regeared everything. Sophomore year, I ended up taking third. Only lost one point against the state champ. It's kind of still upsetting, so kept coming here, kept pushing, kept working, re-gearing, and seeing what I could do to overall better myself. Um, as junior year came along, uh, as was the year I was supposed to take it all. Um, the year I was supposed to uh, do the best that I could, and I was just going tournament for tournament, really uh, keeping the ball rolling as a tournament. And um, I got to nationals, mid-American nationals, and pretty much beat everyone pretty decently all the way up to the finals. And on my final match, in the first 30 seconds, I tore my ACL. And from there, it was more of a crucial blow to not only my wrestling career, but uh, who I was as a person. And really, that was one of my defining moments in wrestling, to see who I was, how I would take this challenge, and see where I would go in when the odds were against me. So, we got surgery, recovery was, was not easy. Most people don't realize that six months of recovery, what it does to you physically, not only with the muscle atrophy, but also mentally. And I kept coming to push, doing what I was trying to do, focusing on what I needed to do, and slowly regaining my steps. And as senior year came around, um, it was really the year that I took it all. I won, took baby steps, really focused, prioritized my, my priorities, and really took everything one step at a time and push really helped me do that and overcome my challenges and difficulties. The trainers here, um, I've known Danny since I was about seven years old. Um, really when uh, CrossFit was uh, in diapers I guess you could say and Danny as Billy really really been the one to uh, really design CrossFit to what it is today. Before CrossFit was CrossFit, he had me doing all these exercises and no one knew what really what they were for, but they were for different agility, conditioning, and strengthening exercises that no one had really seen before. And um, my father and Danny go way back even farther to where my dad trained Danny in bodybuilding and Danny really took his own path into doing bodybuilding and combining bodybuilding with some sort of high agility training, which was CrossFit. Uh, what push means to me is that you need to find another way to really push yourself as hard as you can, as far as you can, and better than the day you were before. I, essentially, getting yourself 1% better than you were the day before. And if you achieve that 1%, then by the end of the year, you should be 365% better, which is a large improvement. I'd recommend push to anyone who would be in wrestling, football, any other extracurricular activities for sports. Uh, really gives you the mental edge. Uh, there's two perspectives that not everyone can see. Um, and it's coming from the athlete perspective. I see that there's two different ones, the parent and the athlete. And I'm not talking about the college athlete that's already mentally stabilized and can push through pretty much anything, or even the high school athlete. I'm talking about the younger athletes. And those are um, the ones that need to uh, really be exposed to this type of environment, be shown what extra stuff they can do and see what other people in the world are doing. To see them not the best in their city or state see that they can overcome even the nation, even the world if they want to. And that's what PUSH offers to them, another way to compete against many other people and achieve their goals.